Hi, my name is Nebo Vezi and I'm a student at the University of Western Cape studying environmental studies and sustainable developments. The research project that I'm compiling right now is on conservation planning and possible protected areas and protected areas that will be and can be protected in the future. This video will be giving you information on conservation areas in Mexico and newly protected areas in Mexico. I have chosen 16 species. Mexico has 170,000 square kilometers of protected natural areas. These include 34 biosphere reserves, 67 national parks, 4 natural monuments, 26 areas of protected flora and fauna, 4 areas of natural resource protection, and 17 sanctuaries. Mexico is one of the 18 diverse countries of the world with over 200,000 different species. Mexico is home of 10 to 12 percent of the world's biodiversity. Mexico ranks first in biodiversity in reptiles with 707 known species, second in mammal, mammals and 438 species, fourth in amphibians with 290 species and fourth in flora with 260,000 species. Basically, what I did was download my national land borders from Diva GIS and add them to ArcView. The planning unit uses hexagons to calculate possible turnovers in the country's land space. The current protected areas are those shaded in color. Most of the work compiled here ran through various processes. For example, if you had a file, it was either a shape file that you had to convert into a vector and from vector you convert into a rest. This meant that I had to delete some of my land use spaces and add them and put them all into one category as most of them were similar bearing their nat nature. For example, all trees and grasslands, anything that dealt with grass and its habitats within the environment as an ecosystem, we put it into one category. Things as such as agriculture, roads, artificial services were allocated in the legend as being number three. Protected areas were two on the legend. One was everything. After I had created and overlaid both maps to produce the map before you, I then brought up the habitats and biodiversity model. These were the results that are found. Two maps are produced, one being better summed up than the other. I used the best solution map in both criteria. The first map indicates that the total number of unprotected areas under current parameters is 15. Only the central Mexican broad is under protected areas where its population status are unknown. I then adjusted my mar marks in biodiversity and habitat planning to find out whether there can be any changes in the protection on the other species distributed throughout the country. Results concluded that Cali Pepla, Central Mexican Broad and Tres Marias Cottontail meet the general requirements, bearing in mind all other features. I found that the hexagon planning unit is better from a planning perspective. However, it does have its pitfalls, such as the amount of area allocated in real life measurements. For example, if we were using pixels, pixels would be able to give us the exact location bearing our screen. So this is very, very critical for planners, um, designers, conversation people like us with studying this module. Species. Most of these species are on the decline and soon will reach extinction. Conservation is possible. It needs only to be implemented. Species can be allocated onto their own spaces. Most other species are located near urban location and some are living alongside humans. This is a new mechanism as the species are adapted onto these living conditions. They will not change and they will not move unless otherwise humans intervene into their habitat and try and minimize the impacts that humans are having onto ecological systems, biodiversity and our living nature. Thank you.